So the air pollution levels across the national capital region have been surging. The PM 2.5 and PM 10 concentrations have breached the safe limits which are set by the World Health Organization. Today we have with us Ms. Anumita Roy Chaudhary from Centre for Science and Environment and she has been leading the work on clean air for Delhi for decades now. Anumita, so my first question to you is, we are surrounded by a deadly haze uh, in the national capital region. What is the major reason for it? You said that we need at least 62% reduction in PM uh, 2.5. Could you elaborate? So what we have seen, and you know that is scary, that if you look at the long-term trends, then even though there has been a de steady decline in the overall pollution levels over a period of time, but even after that reduction, we need another 60% reduction to be able to meet the standards for PM 2.5. And then what it shows up in during winter, because you already have such high level, and the moment the atmosphere turns adverse, there is cool and calm condition trapping the air and trapping the pollution, you begin to see this kind of spiral that is happening. But the warning that we are getting from the current winter trend is that this year, despite the fact that the contribution of farm fire, which is a problem during this part of the year, being much less, that even when its contribution has been less than one to three to five percent, even then air, air quality of Delhi has become poor to very poor. And that brings out the influence of local sources. And therefore, when we looked at the local sources, and now Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, they do an hourly and a daily forecast of how the relative contribution from different sources are changing. And when we looked at it, that if you set aside the pollution that is coming from outside Delhi, that is also quite a big chunk of the problem, but if you take only Delhi's pollution and the local sources of Delhi, then the contribution of vehicles to the PM 2.5 levels right now is more than half from vehicles. And that is the most worrying part that yes, after vehicles you have residential burning, you have peripheral industry, construction activities, open burning. These are also important sources. But for vehicles to be half, more than half of the problem, and that and the, what is worrying about that part is that Delhi has also taken a lot of action to control vehicular pollution. Right. Delhi has one of the largest CNG program for public transport, commercial transport, phase out old vehicles, restriction on trucks, BS6 standards, electrification happening. And even after that, we are seeing this. And that points towards the emerging problem in Delhi, which is mobility crisis. Right. So when we talk of mobility crisis, we also see that the number of buses is still inadequate and the ridership also seems to be going down. So what can we really do to encourage public transport in the national capital to see some changes in the air quality? First of all, the service level of the public transport is very inadequate. The bus numbers are inadequate. We have not yet met the Supreme Court target of 10,000 buses. We are just a little more than 7,000 right now. But Delhi right now has 45 buses per lack of population, whereas against the benchmark from the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs, it should be 60 buses per lack of population, right? So there's a huge shortfall. But the story is not only about the number of buses. The bus also has to arrive very close to your doorstep. Now what we found that if you take all the bus stops in Delhi and that data is available, that less than 1% of Delhi's bus stops where the waiting time for bus is less than 10 minutes, which means for all other bus stops is much higher. That immediately shows that if you have such unreliable, inconvenient service, in, then why will you see the increase in ridership? And that's why even the bus numbers have started to pick up now, and Delhi has one of the highest number of electric buses today. But despite that, the ridership of bus has not yet reached the pre-pandemic level. Right. And we also see that the winter level uh, average pollution has been on the rise. And this year also we are seeing uh, a steady rise in the PM 2.5 and PM 10 concentrations. Anumita, waste burning is also a very serious problem. It seems to be a low-hanging fruit that we can really work on. What do you have to say on that? You know, I mean, these are some of the low-hanging fruit okay, that we should have been able to solve by now. 
All it requires is that the municipal services should be scaled up to such an extent that you are collecting waste from each and every household, segregating it, and then recovering the material out of it, and whatever the waste is getting accumulated in the landfills, you will remediate it. But what we are told that the municipal services are not adequate enough. In fact, almost 25% of Delhi's population have to rely on informal services. So if waste is accumulating out in the open, the easiest way to dispose of it is to just burn it. And that's what is happening. And this has to get fixed very quickly. Right. So as we see, uh, Delhi has been really surrounded by a toxic hake with very high concentrations of PM10 and PM2.5. Uh, the CSC has been doing a lot of work encouraging the use of public transport in the national capital. But how can that be done over the next few years? We'll see. Thank you so much for talking to CNN News 18. Thank you.